Good morning, everyone. Hi, Mama. <laughs> Okay, so today's video I'm going to be showing you learning activities the educational part of um, the stay-at-home mom because I'm at home with Jibbles he's not in nursery I need to find um, ways to teach him at home so this is our toy area our toy rotation section this is where I've got all the kids toys and I do change it on a weekly basis and I change it depending on what their interests are and the things that I want to teach them or the things that I've seen that they're interested in so I'll bring those things out and um, we are currently learning about numbers so we've gone through two weeks of learning about numbers this video was taken on the 12th of January and this is when Jibble started to learn his numbers in a more focused environment what number is this seven. yes that is number seven let me take these away because I don't want to distract you oh. there that's number two put it in there yay five say five Yay! Where's number six? At this point, Jibril knew a few of his numbers. And number seven, he absolutely loved that number seven. All he cared about was number seven. I decided to set up an activity that was a hands-on activity because I know that it will keep his attention a lot longer than if I was to just um, keep it plain and simple with the flashcards. We spent about five to seven minutes on this activity. Number one. One. Two, eight, yay! That's one. Okay, so we're about to start our session. Obviously, you can see someone definitely does not want to. Hey, what are you doing behind there and underneath there? That is not funny. Come on, get up, silly. Come on. Are you ready to do your learning? Are you ready to do your numbers? Yes, you are. Right. Hmm. Are you? This is number. Nine. Yes. This is number. Eight. This is number. Two. Yay. This is number. Three. Yes. This is number. Four. Four. Well done. Six. Well done. Ten. Well done. Seven. Well done. One. Well done, you. Good boy. That was really good. Okay. Now we should try our shapes. Let's try and see what's going to be in the shapes. Hmm. We pick one. This is a rat packer. Well done. Star. Star. Wow. Number six. Heart, well done. Huh? Triangle. Well done. Thick, square. Square. No, circle. It's a circle and the circle goes round and round and round in your tummy. Mm. That was really good. That was really good. Yeah. So we just finished doing that and he's just... He's got his box here. Actually, I'll show you what's in this box. So, in this box is got um, these numbers which were from an uh, educational toy that I bought from Amazon. I'll link it down below as well. And so I just grabbed these numbers out. And this is for the jigsaw, which is over there. Let me bring the jigsaw. So that's the jigsaw for the year. In the beginning, we weren't using the board itself. All I did was just remove all the numbers and put them in this um, little um, box. So now that I've taken the board out this week, he's now trying to obviously fit them in the right places, which he's still struggling to do. But I'm sure he'll um, get used to it soon. Mm -hmm. He will just play with it after we're done with our learning. He will just play with it. Um, we do put it away back in its section. So at some point during the day, he'll just grab it out and want to play with it. As he's playing, I'll show you 
what we're doing. So with this toy rotation, we've got food. He always enjoys um, cooking. This has been gone for about two weeks. Only just bought it out this week. So he's definitely enjoying that. The animals as well, I've decided to take them out. He's not really touched it much, but it's here. I'm gonna try and encourage him to see if he's interested. But his books, he's a book lover. He absolutely loves his book. He will just go through it over and over again. We are relearning our colours because he did forget his colours. And this is the colours book. This is one of our first books. This is Idris's first book. And as you can see, you can tell <laughs> it's dirty. It's breaking into parts and pieces, but it's a really good book. Um, it's got the colour on this side, with the name of the colour and a short sentence just to explain the story and I think it's a really really amazing book. I'm definitely going to um, recommend this if you've got young a young child. Like I said we've been using this since the boys were babies, literally babies. This is like one of our first books. Very easy to read, very simple um, and you can definitely learn colours and I taught Gibral to learn colors through this and we're just going over it again like i said because he forgot some of it that's not pink what color is this one black black okay what color is this one? Pink. Blue. Say blue. Black. Say blue. Blue. Well done. A blue sky. Mm -hmm. A blue sky above the fields. Perfect for a picnic. Yeah. Okay, Dribble's deciding to cook potatoes. Two. Another way that I encourage Jibril to learn his numbers is when he is playing, for example, right now he's playing with potatoes, I will start counting out the numbers as he scoops. So he'll scoop one, I'll say one, he'll scoop another one, I'll say two, he'll return it back, I'll say oh, three, four, five. So we'll continue to just um, say out loud the numbers count as they're playing for example there's items that they're holding you've got one potato or you've got one spoon or you've got one bowl so these are the things that i use they're very simple things that you can use at home you have two potatoes look one two jibo has two potatoes so i'm grabbing him two more potatoes look now you have four potatoes. Wow. I wanted to share with you a puzzle board that I'm using for Gibral as well to teach him his shapes. This is from Melissa and Doug and this is their shape jigsaw puzzle. And we are currently just focusing on these shapes, which is the reason why the rest of the shapes are not here. I will put a link down in the description box below if you are interested in purchasing this jigsaw puzzle. What I've shared with you today is another side of a stay at home mum, which is the educational part of it. Thank you for watching this video and I hope that it's been helpful to you today and make sure to click on the end screen for more related videos.